Today, we pop the top on our first Funko Soda. What's going on YouTube? Funko Hunter here. Today, I get to open up my first Funko Soda. And I've been holding out. Yeah, I have been. Because I, at first, I, I'm going to be honest, I thought it was like a gimmick. They were going to come out with a couple. It wasn't going to work out. Bam, it'd be done. Funko Soda is hitting hard, baby. They're, they, they got some awesome pops coming. A lot of ad icons. So it's like, this is a way that I can get all the ad icons. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You're out there too. This is the way that we all can collect all the ad icons. Kind of from the start because they're coming out now with us. So SDCC had some Funko Sodas. And I was like, hmm. Maybe I pull the trigger. Maybe this is the first Funko Sodas that we get. So, while I was in line, I saw they were still available. I said, let's do it. So I clicked them. And sure enough, I was lucky enough to get to the checkout. And they're here. We got some Funko Sodas and a Funko in here. So it's going to be pretty interesting. They sent a nice sized box to see how the shipping is. So let's not waste any time. And let's break right into it so we got a nice size box here today oh also i'm a knife so we don't have to mess around anymore with the boxes so i'm pretty excited to open these up I, i've been holding out for a while getting funko sodas i don't really know why but i just i don't know maybe because i don't like what i said i just didn't think they were gonna work out but then they came out with those ninja turtle ones and then I was like, I just need to dive into these. So SDCC, it was the time. We jumped in. And now we're going to open them up. So this is what we're looking at for shipping. We see a unnamed box up there. That's kind of good because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you something else. And I have a theory. So this might prove it. So we have uh, the undisclosed box here. So... No Funko logos or anything on that. Okay. And then... Oh, these must be the sodas. These are sick. Alright, so these are the cool Funko sodas. And this is how they send them. They're pretty cool. Right here. Okay, they don't fall. Let me hit some bubble wrap in here. For anybody wondering about the rest of the shipping. So, here they are. The Funko sodas. I've never opened these. And they look really cool. So, let's break right into it. Let's see what they're all about. So they come in these really cool little sorters, it looks like. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, baby. All right, so here it is. Here's the first one. Trapjaw, baby. One of 3,000 Pisces. This one, super cool. Super happy to have this guy. Oh, he's got a summer 2020 convention. It looks like a shared sticker. I'm going to have to hit Funko up because I, I heard... For anyone out there, if you ever heard this, you can, if you have proof of your purchase and everything, email Funko, and they should be sending you some con stickers. Don't know how true that is. Been reading it. I believe uh, Diz Pops actually posted it on his Instagram. So have a look out. This might be true. Hit up Funko, see what you can get. But here's here we're back to the soda. Let's let's get back to the soda. Here's a soda. I thought there'd be a top on it. I could pop it. Kind of like this one over here. And it is the same size as a soda can. That's pretty cool. It's like actually the same size as I poured that soda probably all over the place. So let's open this up. Let's see what this is all about. Um, oh, is the sticker on the outside of this can? Okay. That was my worry that like the sticker would be on the plastic. Like I was didn't want to open it if that was the case. Okay, no. On the can itself. Uh, on the can. So taking the plastic off. That was a worry. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I was like, what if I open this up and the sticker is on the plastic? They're going to think I'm crazy. I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> but, all right. So, it looks like, like, what's the top here? How does this work? People in chat and watching this video are probably like, yo, Funko Hunter. Come on. Come on, Funko Hunter. 
Okay, I see it like I, maybe you don't you don't twist it. It looks like you pull it off, but like I gotta have like the strength of God to get this like angle here. Might be a time lapse here. This might take hours. Not even joking. We might cut, watch a video of how to open this, and then come back. I see everyone open these so easily. What is going on right here? Okay, okay. It's it's coming off. I think you just pull it. It's everyone's probably making fun of me. Don't make fun of me. It's pretty funny. Not gonna lie. It's like I get a little of it open and then it spins around and closes. Okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh my god. We got it. Thank god. Alright, so. Little black package. There's a pog at the bottom. I don't know if there was a chase for this, so. I don't remember. So let's open it up and let's find out. Here we go. What do they use? The, like, the plastic of gods here? Look at this. Look at... What is this? It's like a super plastic. Okay, come on. Okay. It's, there's a bag inside of a bag. Oh, it's bubble wrap. That's smart, actually. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here it is. Wrapped up. Pretty sick. These are cool. These are going to be cool to put around. Ooh, that little skull on his belt. Pretty nicely done. Little blemishes on him here and there, but overall, pretty cool. This is a pretty cool. I'm gonna say Funko. Is it a Funko? Cool. Soda Funko. Uh, and let's check out the pog at the bottom. Let's put that guy there. Check out the pog. One of 3,000. That's pretty cool. Crap jaw. That's pretty cool. I'm actually really, this, I thought this was like a metal pog. It's like a piece of cardboard, actually. If anyone was ever wondering, hasn't bought one yet. A little piece of cardboard. But this is cool. This is going to make for cool displays. I'm going to leave Trap Jaw out of it. I'm going to close it. And we're going to put it on display like that. And I doubt I'll ever get it open ever again, for anybody wondering. These are actually really, really cool. And I feel like I'm going to get hooked on them. And I actually feel like they could fit right there. I'm going to get hooked. Might have been a bad avenue. All right, on to the second one. What do you, you want to guess what it is first? Three, two, one. Ta -da! Here it is. We're throwing that over there. Crunch Berry Beast. I saw this one off the bat, and that's, this is kind of what sold me on the soda line right here. I had to get this one. Can't wait. Let's just open it up. I don't even care right now. We're just breaking it on open. Funko okay. Soda Gods, please. Let me get this one. You're a faulty can. That's a faulty can right there. Perfect right here. Maybe the Crunchberry Beast just wanted to come out. Here he is, Crunchberry Beast. Let's check him out. On the super insane plastic here. Oh, there's a little air hole. Let's try and open it from here. Much easier. All right. Let's check out the Crunchberry Beast. Ooh, there he is. Little figure. Oh, he's pretty cool. Oh, he looks pretty good. No blemishes or anything on this guy. Crunchberry Beast! Check him out there. He's even got the Crunchberry in his hand. Love it. Look at his tail. Check out that tail. It's a snazzy tail right there. What? We got the Crunchberry Beast. Look at Snazzy. We'll put him here next to Trap Jaw. I like how they stand perfectly. And. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Someone messed up and gave me two pogs. Let's go, baby. Two pogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have Crunchberry Beast on this side. And we have the number on this side, I guess. And I got two pogs. Someone messed up, put two pogs in here. That's all right. We'll keep them. That's pretty cool. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Kind of like getting a rare one, you know? 
pretty cool. I actually have two out of 3,000 pogs, but who's counting? Anyways, let's go on to this box right here. But before we open it up, I have a little idea that a box that comes like this with no labels or anything on it. Okay, well, now that was on it. Uh, there's no Funko label on this box. So my wife got me this as a surprise because she wasn't here to help me get them. And she knew I wanted this, so <clears throat> at work, she made sure she got on the Funko website. I think she was in the parking lot, and uh, she got me this. And this came in the mail, and I wanted to show it to you guys. I already looked at it because she gave it to me, but then I got a theory after seeing that, that the unlabeled box, the new sorter. Let me show you what's inside. Oh, uh, Michelangelo with the con sticker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super pumped about this. I really wanted the con sticker. And then after hearing I could, you know, email and get a con sticker. But, like, then I'm thinking, like, do I, like, rip the old sticker off? Does that make, like, an indent? Like, I'm not super, like, I don't get a heat gun or anything. I'm not really good at that. Like, I don't want to put the sticker over it. Like... I don't know about that whole thing, but at least I can get my con stickers for the ones that I have shared because I feel like we all deserve the con stickers for the people that fought on the website. But thank you so much to my wife, Mrs. Funko Hunter, for snagging me up a con sticker, Michelangelo. Well, she was just actually lucky that she got one with the con sticker, but thank you so much. She's always thinking about me, so that I really appreciated that. And it made me also think that seeing... This box I'm labeled, I saw a couple other people post this, that Funko kind of is sending unlabeled boxes from, like, their warehouse or whatever. And I have a feeling that those ones in the new sorters all had the con stickers because they already went through and sorted them in the new sorters. That's my theory. But, um, you know, we're going to open this box up, and maybe that will add to my theory. So this box was inside of the bigger Funko box. But this is the size of the box that they would have shipped. The exact same size, I believe. Let me make sure my address. Yeah. The exact same size box and everything. Okay? So, that's where this theory is also coming from. So, let's open it up. I asked a couple people online, and no one's really given me some clear answers. And I don't think anyone really knows, but this might... And in here, I already see the new sorter. So, here's the new sorter. Let's see if my prediction's right. So this is uh, another pop that I got um, while in line. I saw that this was available, and for some reason, I felt like I couldn't purchase this one because you had to donate or something. I was mistaken, and you were able to get this one, and uh, I snagged up because I really wanted it. I thought it looked really cool. So, let me share it with you guys. And I was right. I am right. All right, there it is. There's the con sticker again, and we have the toucan here. The toucan. Here's the toucan. I, for some reason, like, when I was going to buy this, I thought this was, like, the ones with the flags that you had to donate for to get. But you didn't. Like, this one you could get. So I got him. He's got his foot on a rock, which I thought is really cool. You can really tell from in the back picture. But I thought that was really cool. I really like the toucan. And they came out with a toucan last year, and I didn't get a toucan last year. I didn't get Toucan Sam, so I needed a Toucan, so this is my closest Toucan. And like my theory was, there is the con sticker. I showed you guys beforehand, this is my theory. These boxes that were not Funko labeled with the new sorters all came with the con stickers. My theory, maybe Gemini got some of these boxes shipped to them. That's why they had none of the labels on them, so you would never know that they're truly were shipped out of the Funko. That's just a theory, but I don't know. But I put that to the test. We kind of just saw. I don't know, but you can bet if you see a box that has no labeling and stuff on it, like no Funko label box. Like, see how this Funko box has a label on the side engraved in it? The undisclosed ones with the new sorters, I'm telling you. You're going to get a con sticker. And you're going to be super happy. But that's just a theory. 
who knows for real but i i'm just super excited that i was able to get this stuff that's the end 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 thing really at the end that's a lot of ends but you get what i mean i'm just happy i was able to snag some of these stuff some of this stuff up and i'm just really excited to add it to my collection that's the end of the day thing and it is what it is they say you know Sometimes we win them, sometimes we lose them, but you all will be able to email Funko, it seems like, and still get some con stickers. Hopefully that's true. You know, hopefully. So, this is it. This is the wrap-up. I'm super happy with the purchases today. Funko Soda, I might be diving full in because these are actually really cool, and I really enjoyed opening them up, even though I got stuck on the first one. But that's how it goes. I'm the Funko Hunter, you guys are the Hunters, and I'll catch all of you, and you, and you, oh yeah, and you, on the next hunt.